Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I have several things to talk to you about, not the least of which is the Divine Masculine and Memorial Day. So how do these two kind of go together and what's going to happen and what's happening because there are deadlines. There are deadlines, which means things are going to happen. But what does that mean? Okay, you've been hearing a lot of things. So I want to clarify a few things for you in this video and also let you know some of the things that you should focus on, really should focus on. So um, this energy, first of all, uh, as we come up to this weekend, we're coming up to Memorial Day and the full moon. And as you know, things are going through an acceleration. They're going and there's, there's sort of a push here. Now, we are also about a month away from the solstice. This is going to be decision time, people. It's going to be really either sticking to your plan or causing your own delay. Now you can cause a delay, and that might happen for some people. And there may be various reasons why things may have been delayed. And some of it has to do with being able to do certain things. Now, this is time to change because you both need it. What do those changes entail? Well, talk about it because it can be something as small as donating something, it could be saying no to something. It could be some of the things that people struggle with. And once again, we're having another go around of what does twin flame mean? Twin flame is very simple. Inside these bodies, it is a flame in each person. There is only one person. Only one person is your exact vibrational match here. Now, some people are still going through the process. Are you on a twin flame journey? And maybe you're not sure. Maybe there's events that have happened in your life. Someone broke up with you. You met someone of interest. You're sensing something about someone. Or it doesn't even have to be attached to a person. It could be things in your life that suddenly start changing. And... While it may not seem like it's for the better, there's a lot of blessings in disguise. Have you lost a job recently? Have you been feeling pushed or prompted by the universe to move? Have you been pushed or prompted by the universe to make some changes in your lifestyle? Maybe stop drinking, smoking, drugging, maybe seek some medical attention for something that's been troubling you and nagging at you for a while. And maybe you hesitate because maybe you're afraid. What are they going to tell you? What are you know? What are you really going to find out? That's a natural hesitation and fear. I mean, we feel that here. Why? Because sometimes we can't do anything about something. However, we're new energy, and the ability to be able to do things positively for yourself and for the person that you are connected with is in your body. And that is what I teach. So this may be seeming to take forever. It's taking forever. This is taking forever. And a lot of you are feeling that. And it's decision time. Are you going to take a retreat backwards? Or are you going to stick to what you know? Or are you delaying it forever? Are you delaying things that you've known that you have to take actions on? This is not easy energy to be in. This is not easy because, you know, sometimes it's like reading a book or people that watch films and they, they like to loop through certain parts and they say, wait, rewind it, rewind it. I want to see that part again. Wait, wait, I want to read the book. This book is so good. I don't want it to come to an end. And, you know, it's negative things and it's abusive things that are easier to close the door on. But even that being said, People struggle to let go of those situations or people. 
They may not recognize it for what it is. Are you being taken advantage of? Are you being taken for granted? Are you always there at someone's beck and call? And something inside you is starting to suspect, hey, is this really real? Is it not real? Am I deluding myself? Is it, isn't it? Um, because that's going to be decision time. When it seems to be taking forever, this is the pushback that happens during these retrogrades so that you can feel and review. And you have to be able to sift through all the crap. Again, this happens through your body. That is also what I teach to help you get clarity. How do you get your channels open so that your highest essence can come in and help you and guide you because you're not a part of the collective anymore. You're detaching from the collective and for good reason. Even if you've encountered soul family, sometimes not everyone is going to be at the same speed as you. Why? For the same reason that in the ocean, there's currents that move people ahead. That's quantum time. Quantum time will move things and push things and sometimes push back. And that's what twin flames get affected by. So you have a sense of two times. You have quantum and you have linear. The linear time is closing. The linear time is compressing and condensing. And yet there are times where you're able to have the wherewithal of your life to be able to select what it is you need to focus on. Are you hesitating to take actions on things due to some mild fear or fears of being hurt again? That's a very real thing. A lot of people are afraid to get burned again. And people say that like, ooh, crashed and burned. This is not funny. It's not funny to the person that's going through it. If you're afraid of getting hurt, if you're afraid of being alone, if you're afraid that there's nobody for you, I can reassure you, there is somebody for you. That is the one major thing we are doing here on this planet is the person that is your match is actually able to connect with you. Now, that's a matter of timing, okay? And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Now, this Memorial Day, which it is Memorial Day here in the United States. However, our land is an ancient land, even if it's a new country. And there are things that have been wafting up and out and getting released. And there are reasons why certain countries tend to be leaders here. It's not to diminish other countries. And if you were to ask some of the people who live in those countries, there's a lot of growing pains. United States... England, Australia, parts of the Mid-Atlantic, the Mediterranean, and some of the other uh, areas. So I'm not going to focus on all of that, but Memorial Day is the beginning of the end. What does that mean? That means the closure that we're expecting at the solstice. The solstice is going to bring about a closure that is intended to be very ultimately delightful. Although it's one of those things, again, that might feel like you have to look at it and say, is this a blessing in disguise? I'm not sure I really wanted that closed. And you're going to find that, yes, it benefits you, or even if not you, it will benefit your twin. I want to remind you continually, there's two of you, there's two of you, there's two of you. You're, you can't really fly solo anymore. That's one of the things that is happening. It's the beginning of the ending of thinking of yourself as only one person or the lone wolf. And that's the same way for your other person, too. They can't be the lone wolf, the lone ranger. They're not doing this all by themselves. Nobody's truly picking themselves up by their own bootstraps. We all have help. The help comes from somewhere it comes from above, and now it's got to come from inside. And some of you might say, yeah, I'm doing a lot of uh, inner work. Now, if you are doing inner work, one of the things you'll know is that in terms of inner stuff coming out, it gets weird. It gets odd. You're going to see things. It's not in our nature to confront people. 
That is also something that's ending. Confrontation, conflict. This is going to be a heavy duty energy for the masculine. Tendencies towards violence, conflict, reactions, resolving things in the same old manner. It's the beginning of the end of resolving those things. You will start to feel the crescendo at the solstice if you are here to be in the waves of people for your physical union this year. Now, are you taking it all for granted without any extra push? No, because I'm going to give you an analogy, okay? Here she is. She's gone to Hawaii, and she's learning how to surf, okay? And she just thinks that she can just get up on a board, and it's that simple. It, all she has to do is, right, stand on the board, and she can just go in. Now, some people can do this. They tend to be people who have done other ascensions before. They tend to be people who have studied with me and studied quite a bit about the body. Now, if, if she is aware, she's feeling waves in the water. She's starting to get a bit of the rhythm of the water and the waves, okay? The waves, what waves can do what? What waves are going to pull her back? What waves are going to help her get up and then get that momentum to get up on the board and ride it? Okay, because she needs to get to the shore and be like, oh, I made it. That's the solstice. Okay, that's the solstice energy where you're going to feel a crescendo and you're going to feel like you have done this. Now, how is this affecting the masculine? Well, you're going to have a lot of people that are, you know, they've already been saying it, but we're going to have some other you know, amplification of it here, crescendo, because it's all got to get out. It's got to come bursting out. It already has. This life matters. And this life matters. And this life matters. Everybody's life matters. But what about beyond that? Living and thriving matters. He needs something that is really phenomenal. And he needs to be sovereign. She needs to be sovereign. When you have two sovereign beings that are going to be with each other, how does this play out? Okay? And you each bear a responsibility to learn about the body. However, because of things and how I teach, you each don't have to both take the classes. You can, of course. I do teach people together. However, it travels through the body. And there's ways to get yourself open. There's ways to open your channel so that you can easily release, dissipate, and so that you can circulate energies between each other. That's is what will keep you thriving because you're not connected to other places anymore. The other thing that is happening for the solstice for people is you're on a different time frame. You're on a completely different time frame. Now, the time frame shifted last year. There was a time shift last year. There was a timeline shift. And some people felt it and other people didn't. Just because you didn't feel it doesn't mean it's not happening for you. It might have been your twin that felt it. And again, your twin may have taken actions that you're not aware of. Okay? So let's make this even more simple. Um... Are you not wanting things to end? Are you, have things reached the pop proper conclusion, but you're not ending it? Okay. Are you, are you trying to come to terms and ex with things and experience a brighter future? This is the energy that can create the effect of natural changes, natural endings, so that you can create New memories with each other. Are you creating new memories with each other? So what about the masculine? <laughs> we all love a good march. We all love a great parade. There's parades this weekend. But there is 
bereavement, there is grief. This is going to be another cycle of people pulling up the past to repeat it and grieve it. And yeah, motion goes with that. If it takes you 10 cycles to be able to get all of that out, you're going to do it. But that might translate as 10 Memorial Days. How does this happen in other countries? Pretty much the same way. People want to never forgive, never forget, which I don't agree with. It is time to forgive. It is time to forget. How do you reach a level of true forgiveness for things that have either had to be done or needed to be done, or happened in survival mode, or got so contentious that the only way was to just fight. And there are people that do that. I had a conversation with someone who said, you know, fighting is good and war is good. There are people that believe that, okay? But people who've actually been in war and felt the effects of it and had to rebuild or have gone without things and have deprived, been deprived, wouldn't agree with you per se. Okay, there's people that make money off of war. There's people that also um, do need to have a way for their aggression to get out. Why? Because it's been stuck in a lower dimension. It's All it's done is recycled and recycled through incarnate lives. And it repeats and it repeats and it repeats. That's why those things like History repeats itself. If we don't change, then history is doomed to repeat itself. Yes, that is what this solstice is doing. You're not doomed to repeat the same old things. You're not doomed to have the same old affairs with people, whether it's sexual or emotional affairs. You're not doomed to repeat the patterns that might run in your family of ancestral illness. You're not doomed to lives of poverty and lives of deprivation where you have not proper nutrition. I'm not talking about maybe you don't get your B vitamins. I'm talking about being so starved that your body is affected. Your children have rickets. You have scurvy. You have things that sometimes just don't exist in newer uh, areas or where there's really great pasture land. And you know, where does the pasture land come from? It would, usually was glaciated, meaning a huge glacier was there, flattened out the land. You have that in Switzerland. You have it in France. You have it here in the United States. We have an Ice Age Trail in Wisconsin that you can follow, and that's what it's called. It's the Ice Age Trail where you can see different things and the effects of that. And yet the land is wonderful pasture land for growing things, and for things to thrive. What do you do when all of the, you know, fighting and contention, because it's not just the military, even the role of the military is shifting and changing to being more of, you know, they are trying to shift into peacekeeping. They're trying to shift it into help in emergencies. And there are a lot of countries that do pledge help, uh, both with, people power and with resources and you have places without sufficient resources and I'm not condoning the things of the past what I'm saying is that you very much have a level of things that you're closing for good okay so this the solstice is the first closure you're going to be able to close the door to the ancient Pallades You've brought all the things you love here. You love your Palladian things. I love them too. I was there. I was there during invasions. That's what is closing. Orion. A lot of people can look up in the sky and see the three in a row stars of Orion or Betelgeuse up in the corner. And you feel that star system. But do you know what happened there? Maybe, maybe not. I do. And I'm really glad we're closing the door on it. Mars. Mars is a biggie. Mars is right here in our system. If you don't believe me, go watch a uh, TV show called The Handmaid's Tale. You'll get a really good idea of the dystopia that was there. And yet what's happening with females? You're taking back your power. Okay, that started happening all the way back. But it's also been in cycles. So you have the 60s, the 70s, 
women's lib and people get upset, you know, like, oh, you're a women's lib or, oh, you're, you're all about this, but it's got to swing to a natural change and not be extreme this way and not be extreme that way. You need to have people where they're able to be sensible and not swing both ways, you know, not swing, you know, where it's like, wow, you are so erratic. I just don't know how to handle you sometimes. Maybe I don't need handling. Did you ever think about that? I meant some kind of livestock to be handled. I'm not your channel. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love you. I, I just, I don't know where all this is, hostility is coming from. Okay, and it's coming from the inner masculine that has had to help protect her and help keep her from being wounded again. And they need to find ways to blend up their masculine again. I teach people how to do that through the body, the true alchemy, the true alchemy. Okay, so here you are, and you've got first closure here at the solstice, closing out all of the negative things where trouble has followed from these star systems, including Earth, Earth's third dimension, fourth dimension. And yes, stuff has happened in the fifth dimension here on Earth, usually caused by what came through from Mars. Okay. With this first closure, some of you are feeling it ahead of time. And if, if you've already been through it, you got to sit tight while your twin goes through it. Soulmate release. This is causing a lot of confusion out there where people say, are there multiple twin flames? No, there's one. Are there, are there, are they interchangeable? Because I'm pretty sure I copied that onto the person. No, they're not interchangeable. You have one twin. The, everything is in that person. It may not be fully blossomed out. So I'm going to tell you also about this full moon. Full flower moon. So leading up to Memorial Day, it's the day after Memorial Day, you're going to see things, you're going to feel that things are exposed, that happens at the full moon. And you're also going to what? Flower, blossoms, things blossoming and opening. That's the potential for it. If you shove it down to one of these dimensions, that's on you right now. But the door is closing, so here she is. She went, she's been riding the waves, riding the waves, riding the waves. And will she get to the shore? And will the door close behind her? Don't close the door on any of the potentials with your twin. Okay? From now on, it's going to rely very much upon you making an effort to get to know your body. That's also what this energy is. Don't take it for granted. Getting you here was the part you had the huge help on. So this is the stuff where you could say, the universe pushed me. The universe helped me let go of people. The universe took this away. The universe, the, the universe is going to close the door. In this energy, you have to get adept at yourself again. That means your body, because your body is how you felt each other to begin with. And just to make this a little bit more clear to you, I want to just describe a few things, okay? These are from my personal life. Ever since we started closing the door last July, I started seeing a lot of people getting sick. And I'm talking about hospital-level sick. And for me personally, I have felt such a sense of urgency, now, I've had someone in my family who has been very sick with a chronic thing. It was my dad. My dad had diabetes. He had brittle diabetes, which means that it, it was pretty extreme. Um, we learned a lot as children. Uh, we learned to eat how diabetics need to eat. Uh, I learned about the illness. Um, people who have it, they live with a low grade of depression every day. Their circulatory system gets affected. It's a disease that can affect every part of you, just like alcoholism, which also has run in my family. And my grandfather died of cirrhosis. My, my dad, not only did he have brittle diabetes, he had full-blown celiac disease. He had congestive heart failure. But the man was like an Iron Man. That's what I called him. He was like an Iron Man. He'd go into the hospital and he'd come out. And he would just, 
you know, keep trucking along, even with these illnesses. But I wanted more than anything to be able to help him because diet doesn't cut it. What is the disconnect when people's organs don't work? What happens to people? Why do they get sick on only one side of the body or the other? Why does the right breast get cancer? Or why does the left testicle get cancer? Why does right lung get something or the left lung? Why these, why these things? It has to do with being a twin flame. It has to do because there are two parts of you. And if the twin is doing something or if the twin happens to have been tethered out here to the old paradigm, somehow, some way, if they died in a battle and left their leg on the battlefield, then that's a part of them that won't function properly. So I don't really know what it was with my dad. I feel it was something like that. I was able to only see a few things. However, what I can tell you is through my classes, through my channel opening exercises, I am having the ways developed to help people get back to functioning so that when you're with your twin, you're not ill. So that when you're with your twin, you're not saying, wait, I have low thyroid. My metabolism is so sluggish. Don't you believe that there are miracles happening with these energies to get you to align? You have to do your part. Only you can work your body and get your channels open. When you don't, it's like going, wah, wah, wah. It's like going back into these waters. Wow, 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 wow. And it translates as depression, mild depression, feeling oogie, feeling not light. Now, there's another thing to know. I'm going to put this back up here. Another thing to know, this is heavy energy. If you're deciding to go back, it's not going to be all light and lovely with soulmates. You might be staying with a soulmate. You might still be married if, you know, um, if you are married to your twin flame, you might actually find that you two are on the shore. So things are going to show up that are going to be like opposites of what you thought it was. Because maybe you thought it or maybe it made sense to your mental body at one point. But it wasn't exactly the truth of your heart. So what I do teach is in my class, I have several webinars. I have been preparing for this time for a long time. Some of you are ready. So if this is new to you, find out how because it will serve you well because come August, there's another deadline. Come October, there's another deadline. Come the December solstice, there's another deadline. Deadline, deadline, deadline. The deadlines are things that are expected to be done by. In a higher way, we're expecting to be able to have this first closure. And I'm really happy because... It, well, it doesn't mean the end of all domestic violence. It means the ending of it for twin flames. Okay. What I'm reporting here is for twin flames specifically and people who are already activated. Okay. You might think you're awake, but you might not be woke. And, you know, there are still things for you to learn and find out. And that's what I'm here to teach. And that's not a criticism. It's a process. It's a process. I am a teacher. I am a prototyper. That is what the Rod and Staff Unions are. So in terms of what I was saying about my father, what do you do if you feel like you're getting starting to get pre-diabetic? Well, we figure out how do you release the things that are, might be tethering you and holding you and constricting your organs. It's not always a false twin. It could be an event. It could be something that I'm able to help you with because I do. My dad's deceased, by the way. He actually died very peacefully and went like that. And um, we were very happy. But for years, we were all like, who's going to take care of dad? Dad has really a lot of health issues. And I wanted to, I wanted him to get completely well. I never wanted him to have his leg amputated. That happened too. 
He had to have his leg amputated at one point. He had surgery where the surgeon said it was like take, taking chopsticks and peeling an orange with chopsticks to get the scar tissue off his lungs because the lung and the pleura kept filling up with fluid and they would drain it and it pressed on his heart. And, you know, I am the living bridge between the physical and the metaphysical. This first closure means that some of the milder chronic things you're either able to start healing from or prevent, okay? Learning how is also preventative. Get your channels open and get your metaphysical ready because this is keeping you two alive and well. In my class, Multidimensional Living, I am on part two. I'm doing it Thursday evening at six. That's six or it can be the next. It, this would translate as the next morning, Friday morning in Australia or Asia or India. Or the 28th, which is actually Memorial Day. So if you're off and you're able to make it, 9 a.m. And again, this would be the afternoon in the UK and in Europe. I am also doing a live class on June 16th. June 16th, live class here in Chicago, very close to the airport, and I will be teaching you. We will focus on how you have to do things, get your channels open. Your channels are how you reciprocate the energies, how you feel loved and supported, how you continue thriving, how you continue your health and well-being. So by the way, my dad met his twin and she's still around and she is doing fabulous. They each had cancer, healed it. I mean, they went through some of the crises that twins go through. I don't wish for people to have a crisis. But when there's a crisis, there's a recovery time. Learn how to do things without it being a crisis. That's one of the lessons of this retrograde energy a few months ago. Does it have to be a crisis? Or do you want to learn so that you can apply it? People that have learned from me do apply this, and they're having very good, very good responses, not only with their body, but with their guidance. And I do expect people to graduate. That's the other energy we're in. It's graduation time. It's about dads and grids. What else are we having in June? We have, well, I don't know about other countries, but here in the United States, lots of graduations, and it's Father's Day there. So if you want to help your divine masculine, find out ways you can help. Find out how do you reach the levels of forgiveness where it's an issue and the words never forgive, never forget are actually a thing of the past too. Let's forgive. And you know what? This closure enables you to forget the bad stuff. Okay? This first closure enables you to forget the bad stuff. Some of you, you're saying to yourself, why should we forget? We're taking these traditions. No, you're using the good traditions. What you're forgetting are things like child sacrifice, a sacrifice to the gut. How many people are tired of sacrificing this or that? You make sacrifices for your kids. You make sacrifices to the people at work. How, how Are you tired of it? Are you tired? Are you ready to be new? Are you delaying some things forever? Are you sacrificing your own life and taking little pockets of pleasure here and there? Feel it. Only you can really answer those things. But only you can start to get your channels open so that you're getting to the level that you really will be living. Because there's another part to it. Coming down to earth again is going to be exhausting for you. You're going to need to get your channels open. So that's what I have to say. I hope to see some of you. The links are below. The links are on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com and right back here I can show you I have my table. My table is here. That is uh, what I do body work on. I've been doing body work since I was about 19 years old and I have uh, quite a bit a wealth of not only knowledge but I have the connections necessary where it works through me. I do in-person energy body work. 
I do twin flame reconnection. I help you connect your divine masculine in the areas of your body that you need to. And that can be over the internet on Zoom. Uh, I set up a Zoom meeting for you or can be in person. And either the class, this class, you get four parts for $80. Because some people want to say, well, how much is it? You know, this works out to be $20 per week with tools that you're able to apply. We don't just talk. I give you the necessary supplementation. Last time we talked about use of oils, where to apply oils, we what supplements, how much is it worth to you to find out not only how to get your channels open, to, but to get suggestions on all-in-one setting, all-in-one class, uh, where you're not piecing it all together. And I know there's a lot of people, you just... You just want to see the videos and see the update, like how some people check the weather report. But if you're here to do this, if you're in it to win it, okay, come join. And for some of you that have already invested in yourself, thank you. You're worth it. You're worth it. And I do thank you, and I'm very grateful because every class has been a learning experience. Every experience that I've gone through with the body, because I am a prototyper, I put it in there. And it is elevated, and it is going to be very important at some point for you. So maybe you're saying, you know, hey, let me give it a try. I hope to see you there. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Don't party too hard for this Memorial Day weekend. Make sure that you're aware that for a lot of the masculine, they may be saying, you know, things like, Oh, when is, you know, I'm so dissatisfied with my life. When do I get to stop being the guy that just goes to work and pays the bills? When do I get to stop being the guy that's, you know, just driving, driving people around? When am I going to have to stop working two or three jobs? Why, why do things feel like a shocking drain on me? Okay, they might be going through some of the things the feminine has already gone through. Dissatisfaction, disillusionment. Be gentle, be kind, come and find how we're going to get this out. Not just forgive and forget, get it gone. Because when people say let it go, I teach people how to actually take it out and get it gone. And for good, forever, okay? Forever. That's the beauty part. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And hope to see you there. Check out the links below. I cover a lot of stuff. Bye.